Uh, my name is Josh Orrick. I'm a Subway franchisee from Southern California. We have uh, 18 locations, and this is actually my second trip to uh, Pals BEI. Well, I had the opportunity to come the second time and bring a, a different group from our organization with me. And what's funny with me is I, I'm taking my notes from last time and comparing them to this time and really seeing the growth in my own thinking and thinking differently and picking different things up the second time around. The first time was really about a mind-bending, growing experience. And so much of it was mental, um, just getting around the idea of executing at 100% and thinking differently. And this time it's really more about picking up the details of the processes and how to go back and execute those at our level in our restaurants. Yeah, so when we were here the first time, I was here with one of my district managers and uh, we set some goals for ourselves. Our first was something directly for the managers, just their offices being 100% and perfect in their offices because we wanted to put something together that there were no obstacles of staff because the staff is always a reason or excuse or an obstacle. So we want to give them something to try to get their mind around what is possible in their own actions and their own thought processes. And since then we've moved on to some more guest service focused things. And then now what we're trying to do with this group, I have another district manager and actually our, one of our vice presidents with us, um, really trying to attack one store at a time when we get back and be 100% from top to bottom instead of doing a little bit across the whole company. Yes, most definitely. We've seen results um, from the things from our first visit. Um, we, we really got the buy-in from the managers and what they saw immediately was increased organization, decrease their mental stress um, because we really focused and pushed them on getting everything done every day, completing things before they left. And while sometimes it's a struggle when you have a long day, when you're short staffed, that kind of situation, they realize when they wake up the next day, they've set themselves up for a better day the following day. And they've really bought into that so far. So it's been great. Our, our results were immediate for part of the people. And then we had a, another portion that took some prodding and then we had a couple that took some pushing <laughs> different levels I guess um, we were about 60 days after we did it we had them pretty much going every day we weren't at a hundred percent and it's something we're still working on because I was only here about four months ago so it's something we're still working on still pushing um, I don't think it's a hundred percent habit yet but we definitely saw some instant results from some people and in our, our culture our team shares um, successes and best practices with each other so they really got buy-in from each other, even more from us. So when we had some leaders that got out there and were willing to do it, they talked to our other management team and listened to each other more than just another push from our end. So, Yeah, so PALS, um, compared to other classes we've taken, other, uh, other leadership things we've done, um, really, like I said, is, is a mental change more than anything else. Um, we do a lot of motivation stuff and you find with motivation stuff, they get you excited and there's nothing tangible to take back and it just slowly fizzles out. Um, we've done some other leadership classes and books and we have a tendency to jump from one thing to another, get excited about something. And again, it, it, PALS is different because they talk about taking that step and making it stick. And that is the most important part with any change is really keeping the change and making it stick. So it's a lesson we learn. I really, my personality is to go and to jump because I want to be the best at everything we do. And that was something that I was able to talk to David and David about the first time I was here and really struggle with taking a baby step and taking it slow and knowing this is a long plan instead of a short race from that standpoint. Yeah, so PALS for us um, was a long time coming to the class. We actually saw David McCloskey at the Subway convention several years back and we started following the brand and being from Southern California, PALS meant nothing to us, you know, and, and then we go on Google and see these weird blue buildings with giant hot dogs on them and we're like, okay, um, why are we going to fly to Tennessee to listen to these guys, right? So we started following the blogs and posts and social media and we really got uh, more interested and more buy-in to the bits and pieces that were out there. So we decided to make the plunge and really come and see if the information was backed up what we thought it was going to be. Um, it has been a big change for us. It's really given us a singular focus and a, an ability and a commitment to growth beyond what we thought was our potential before. Um, we run pretty high volume stores. Um, we've won Franchisee of the Year before in our area. But the idea of, of, of executing at 100% is something that I think most people is really beyond their imagination. And that's where the mental part comes in is, is there's a, a different level of execution and trying to imagine what you really could accomplish with 100% of everything you do. So the class opens your mind to that, gives you tools, gives you concepts, um, talks about how to handle the people. And I really would encourage anyone that's driven to succeed um, or do better in their business to come and see it for themselves. 
uh, different, but in a good way. Um, we, we talk about thinking differently in class, and a lot of times different has a connotation of bad or negative or weird. Different this way is great. It's, it's because it's a, a small percentage of people that are willing to be different and willing to do the things that other people aren't willing to do. Um, you know, the, the word extraordinary is something that I think is thrown around too lightly outside of class, but after being in class, it really has a different meaning and a different level of devotion and commitment that if you're willing to do those things, it can take you to a level that you didn't imagine before you walked in the building.